I just want to express the feeling I have for Index as an organization and as a magazine. Um, I've admired it all these years. I've even written for it a long time ago. And bravo Index, I say. Uh, the Belarus Theatre uh, is one item on a very wide spectrum of causes, places, and people who deserve our attention and who represent some form of correction begging to be made. I got this email and essentially uh, it was kind of, uh, I have to say, it was, it was almost heartbreakingly pathetic. They were emailing people like me and all they wanted was a message of support. They said, we're an outlaw theatre. We're actually hoping to have an, a, a playwriting competition. Uh, and please, Mr. Stopper, would, would you send us a message of support? So, I, you know, I mean, I have a big desk and a secretary and all kinds of equipment, telephone things. So really, you know, I could say uh, to my secretary, listen, uh, give these people my message of support and then I can sort of go to lunch, couldn't I? <laughs> and it struck me as being um, an odd and rather shaming little moment in one's life. So I actually wrote back and said, what, what do you actually want? And, um, well, here I am. <laughs> None of this would actually work if it wasn't founded upon a serious gift, hard work, talent, a gift, um, an absolute determination to express something important through the art form of theatre. The Belarus Free Theatre does do very good work. Uh, when I went there, by the way, I saw one of the very earliest performances, which was a performance of an English play uh, by Sarah Kane, and it was intensely dramatic, extremely well acted, and it took place in a bar, because the whole point, of course, as you know, the situation is that this is an outlaw band who are denied the opportunity. Being good actually does matter enormously. It was because they were truly gifted, devoted, utterly focused, people. You have to actually turn the whole thing the other way around. You have to imagine your own society from which has been abstracted every sign and sound and sense of the creative process. And you have to look at the result and you have to wonder whether that's a society worth fighting for. To be privileged to be contributing to an element in any kind of collection of human beings. It's the element which raises us above our sensual appetites. I, I feel humbled standing here like a kind of figurehead. Because um, I'm talking about a group of people who I've now known for some years, who are they're on the barricades and um, they're brave and when one considers the company one is in here in this room I don't really want to embarrass Andre here but he's a very good example um, when one considers the company one is sharing the air one is breathing in this room with whom one is sharing that air one must feel humbled because Courage is perhaps the most personal and fundamentally the most expressive of human hopes, of human self-identity. Of all the aspects of life which, uh, as I've been boasting, art brings to the surface and as it were, as a kind of texture which goes through the whole of life like liquid through a cube of sugar. The 
part of it which perhaps expresses us at our most intense is that part when occasionally we have to show just a little courage. <laughs>